models and views. In this section, we will learn an important architecture in Qt. It's called model view. Then we will get our hands on the table model and view. Then the list model and view. Models and views in Qt. In this video, you are going to learn the concept of the model view architecture. Then you will get to know what the built-in models and views Qt has provided. You may have heard of MVC, which stands for Model View Controller. It originates from small talk that is usually used when building user interfaces. The idea is to increase flexibility and code reuse. In the MVC world, there are three kinds of objects, Model, View, Controller. In the book Design Patterns, it reads, the model is the application model. The view is the screen presentation, and the controller defines the way that the user interface reacts to the user input. Before MVC, these objects tend to be lumped together. If you combine the controller and the view objects, then you get the model view architecture. The idea is the same. To separate the data model and the presentation, but with model view architecture, the framework is effectively simpler. Qt has also introduced a new kind of object called delegate to handle user input more flexibly. The delegate sits between the view and the model, and it makes data rendering and editing customized. In Qt, these three components are defined by abstract classes that provide common interfaces and some default implementations. Since they are abstract classes, you can create your own specialized models, views, and delegates. How do they communicate? Naturally, in a very cute way. Signals and slots. Now, let's take a look at what beauty models we have in Qt. All item models are based on the QAbstract item model class. The model defines how the views and the delegates access data. However, the model doesn't have to store the data. The data can be stored in the database or provided by another class. No matter what the underlying data structure may be, all subclasses of QAbstract item model represent the data as a hierarchical structure that contains tables of items. This is required because of the view uses this convention to access these items by referencing data indices. Qt has provided some ready-made models, from the simple QString list model to full-featured QSQL table model. It's also quite common to create your own model class by subclassing one of the abstract model classes. As for views, the standard view interface is provided by QAbstract item view. As the name suggests, it works with the model interface provided by QAbstract item model. In the spirit of separation of the model and the view, the view may present the data in a very different way from the underlying data structure. Views can render individual items of data directly or use delegates to handle both rendering and editing. Ready-made views from Qt include QList view, QTable view, and QTree view. Lastly, let's take a look at delegates. In the model view architecture, QAbstractItemDelegate is the abstract class for delegates. The default implementation is provided by QStyledItemDelegate and used by standard views by default. Delegates control how the input is obtained from the user as well as how individual items are rendered. But unlike the model view controller pattern, a delegate does not manage interaction completely. The view is responsible for processing user input as well as the layout of the whole model. The subtle difference, however, gives the model view architecture more flexibility 
and keep it simple. You may find default delegates are good enough in quite a lot of common cases, so we will instead focus on two typical models and views later in the following videos.